Hi church, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, uh, whatever time of day you are choosing to watch this, welcome. Uh, my name is Abigail and I'm really excited to share a word of encouragement with you from Acts chapter 1 verses 6 to 8. Before we dive in, I kind of just want to give you a little bit of context around this passage. Jesus has been crucified, he's died and he has resurrected, hallelujah, and he is now spending time with his apostles, uh, his disciples, the apostles, encouraging them, dining with them, good food, and most importantly, commanding them to wait for the gift of the Holy Spirit that's been sent by his father. And as I read this, I just sense the excitement, the anticipation in Jesus' voice because he knows what this means for the, for the apostles. But what has always thrown me has been their response <laughs> to his excitement. This question that feels very off-piste, very bizarre. And so this is, um, is what we are going to read. Guys, I had a little bit of a revelation about it, so it's no longer bizarre to me. But I'm going to share it with you right now and share the revelation off. So it says, Then they gathered around him and asked him, Lord, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom to Israel? And he said to them, it is not for you to know the time or dates the father has set by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in Samaria, it goes on to list some other places, and in all Judea and to the ends of the earth. And the word, the revelation is this, don't wait, witness. Don't wait, witness. Because what I realised, <laughs> when the apostles asked this question, it wasn't off piece. it wasn't bizarre. They asked this question because they heard the word Holy Spirit and they had a picture of the Spirit of God filling the men and women of old, Moses, Daniel, um, I don't know, Samson. And that one person, fueled by the Spirit of God, leading a nation, out of captivity into freedom and restoration. So when they hear the Holy Spirit, they hear, all right, okay, someone else is going to do this. Someone else is gonna be filled with the Holy Spirit and it's gonna be Jesus and he's gonna restore the kingdom to Israel. We're gonna have that victory. We're gonna have that freedom and it's gonna be complete. But what Jesus is saying, yes, there will be victory ultimately, an ultimate final victory. But in the meantime, because you don't know when that's gonna happen, we can't just wait and sit on our laurels. We can't just be comfortable knowing Jesus and just kind of hiding away and, oh, the world is crazy at the moment. All of these things just feels like it's the end of the world. Uh, I feel like I'm saying that sometimes. Um, but we have to, we have to witness. That is Jesus's command. Like we are fueled by the Holy Spirit. We have it within us. They have a picture of one person rising up because of the Spirit of God filled within them from the whole, from the Old Testament. I don't even know whether they could truly imagine what that looked like to have every single one of them being able to rise up. The impact in the world that that would make. Yes, they saw Jesus able to do miracles and, and heal the blind and um, all of these things, lame beggars walking. This was actually a miracle in Acts chapter 3. You want to read it? It's really good, Acts chapter 3 and 4. Um, but, but it's like he's commanding them, you can't wait for, for the restoration, you can't wait for me, you can't, you can't wait for that to happen. In the meantime, if you're going to wait, it needs to be active. We need to wait actively and witness in this world to be a light, to, to, to lead with wisdom and courage and to have faith for miracles. And we can do this by the power of the Holy Spirit, the gift that God has given to every single believer who has accepted Jesus as their Lord and Savior in their heart to do that. We are empowered by the Holy Spirit for a purpose. And I just wanna encourage you to, to not wait, to witness and to believe the truth of this word. And if you feel kind of thrown by that statement, I just wanna encourage you to read through the whole of the book of Acts and see what people who are fueled by the Holy Spirit can do. See the miracles that will take place because of the Holy Spirit in these men and women of God and know that you too have that same spirit within you to witness and be a light in the world.